Snakes are the often feared creatures mainly because of their bite. As soon as the word snake is heard, it leads us to think of venom, bite, death or harm. But it's important to remember that all snakes in India are not venomous. That is, their bites do not cause harm to humans. We have seen the types of venomous snakes in part 1. Now let us understand the facts about snake venom, snake bite, first aid on snake bite. As also, we can understand various ways to protect ourselves from snakes and at the same time what course of action to take in case of snake encounters. Snake venom is the highly modified saliva of the snake useful to it in catching and digestion of its prey. Venom is very precious for a snake as the snake's survival depends upon it. Hence even a venomous snake uses the venom sparingly. Most of the Indian poisonous snakes give ample warning before attack on humans since they do not want to waste venom on a human that cannot be its food. A cobra raises its hood and hisses. A Russell's viper gives out a whistle-like sound before it strikes. A saw-scaled viper rubs its scales to give out sound. The common crate is nocturnal and seldom encounters humans during daytime. To treat a victim of a snake bite, it is very essential to have true knowledge of the type of snake that has bitten the victim. In India, many snake bite cases cause problems to the victim because of lack of knowledge of snakes as well as that of first aid and medical care. Snake venom is of mainly two types, neurotoxic and hemotoxic. Neurotoxic mainly leads to muscle paralysis, respiratory paralysis or leads to cardiac arrest. Cobra, common crate, coral snakes fall in this category. The second type is the hemotoxic venom, mainly prevents blood from clotting and snake bite causes swelling, pain, tissue damage and such other symptoms. Snakes that fall in this category are the vipers. When a snake bites, often in fright a person does not see the snake properly. Actually, it is very important to understand which snake has bitten so as to give the correct treatment. If in the chaos one does not understand which snake it was, it would be best not to take risk. One should take the victim to the nearest government hospital. The basic things to remember specifically for first aid on snake bite are Don't waste time. Don't panic. Remove any jewelry you're wearing. Wash the wound with an antiseptic first. While taking the victim to the hospital, try to keep the bitten body part below the heart level. Avoid movement of the bitten body part. Do not cut the wound. If it's a viper bite, a victim may die of bleeding due to the cut since Viper venom prevents blood from clotting. Don't try local methods. Remember, even if a venomous snake bites, it may not have injected venom and it could be 
what is called as a dry bite that has no venom compression bandage should not be applied in case of indian venomous snakes another issue is how we can minimize the snake encounters snakes are a vital part of our environment we should not resort to killing snakes out of fear but rather we should prevent human interaction with them by keeping in mind a few things avoid clutter near your homes snakes love to dwell in unattended clutter piles of stones bushes covering the ground and high grass do not plant climbers that can give the snake an approach into your balcony since snakes are good climbers loose tiles in a garden are a place that would be loved by snakes hence pack these gaps have doors that do not leave gaps below since snakes love to enter through such gaps and small holes when you are on a jungle trail or are trekking and camping it's important that you remember you are possibly in a snake's territory and may encounter one things to remember would be out of your sheer adventurous mood do not try to catch a snake no matter how confident you are about it being non venomous don't disturb the snake or try to kill it if you encounter one most of the snake bites happen when humans try to catch or kill a snake if you are moving through an area that is full of grass wear gum boots that can prevent the direct strike on your leg don't stick your hands into holes or crevices lest you alarm a snoozing snake remember snakes are more active in the early morning and late evenings and night so be careful during those timings wear a cap when moving through trees never play with trees on the way you may not know who's hanging around there when in a jungle keep your talks limited and be watchful instead to check out for any activity around never sit on loose logs or on loose rocks snakes may be underneath while camping try to put up tents before sunset so you can scan the area well before doing so it's important to check your shoes before wearing them on the next day if a snake enters your home or nearby area and is sitting calmly immediately call a snake rescuer of your area keep their numbers handy in case of need if it is moving keep watch on it till the snake rescuer arrives don't go near the snake to kill lest it may strike you snake rescuers are trained persons who are authorized by the government to handle snakes they have much better knowledge than you about the behavior of a particular snake and also of their type hence it's best to call them for your safety as well as the protection of snakes regarding the laws associated with snakes we should know a few facts all the snakes are protected under the wildlife protection act 1972 of india you cannot collect keep transport any snake without permission from the forest department many snakes fall under schedule 1 and 2 of this act hence if you kill 
or harm a snake, you are liable to be punished with one to six years of imprisonment and also with a fine. Hence, one should be very careful to avoid any such events that can lead to imprisonment and fines. Actually, snakes are our friends, but our ignorance and fear lead to the death of humans and also of snakes. Hence, knowledge about them is the key to a better coexistence that is definitely possible with our little efforts.